And the reason why it's I'm sorry and everything is because guess what? I literally am not allowed to do anything. I've literally watched you sit here and take all of their concerns And here's the kicker. They sent two people to my home to threaten me. Based off of what somebody else said. Before they even met me. They wouldn't have cared if your aunts beat me to death with the baseball bat they brought. And everybody gets to think it's funny. Everybody in your family is laughing at it. How hilarious it is that Audra and Terry came through a door because your parents asked to threaten me. And I'm the monster. I've literally sat here and watched you and your daughter get abused left and fucking right. And for what? It has been going on since day one. They've never once tried to talk to me. And they've never once tried to anything. Aside from threaten me, bribe me, and coerce me into leaving. Now it's interesting that Robert wants to, you know, your dad, wants to sit here and say how menacing and threatening and all. He's the only one threatening. When he was in your living room, did I threaten him? No, I didn't. But that doesn't matter. When your sister wants to constantly refuse to even try and talk because her child is super sick, so just drastically sick she can't text. But she could drop the same kid off with you guys. Same day. Remember how I said dipshit used to force me to help people? Dipshit used to sit there and promise that I wouldn't have to deal with people because guess what? They don't like me. The only thing they like is the fact that I respond whenever their car is broken or when something needed fixed. But when I spent three months alone in a house, those same friends that I was there to help weren't my friends. They weren't there for me. They weren't even there for her. They were there for their own personal gain. So. I'm screwed because I don't get to hold anybody accountable. Even though they're holding us accountable for their mis-assumptions. So how about somebody actually helps me out? Please, I don't mean that in a rude way. How about we research what the charges would be for two people coming through a door with a baseball bat to try and force me outside to talk while they were screaming at me. Now, the fact that your parents are the ones that requested them go over there and do it. How many people have watched It's a Killer or Murder fucking whatever or some bullshit? It doesn't take two and two to realize that 
if they'd have beaten me to death that night, your parents would be going to jail. Not jail, your parents would be going to prison. Because when the courts find out that they never once tried to meet me, talk to me, or anything, but instead hired two people to come over and try and kill me, it's all funny. It's all funny. Because I'm the one saying it to you guys. What happens if it was me? What happens if I have a couple of my buddies show up to your house with a baseball bat? Not caring about your daughter being right there. So let's reverse it. How about I have two of my Samoan buddies come to your house with a baseball bat. And try and force you outside to talk to you. You know the difference? My friends... They'll do it peacefully. They won't yell and scream. They won't wake up the whole fucking neighborhood trying to create a scene. And you guys want to call me crazy? Say that I'm psychotic because of this? Because of what? Because I'm verbalizing what you guys have already done? It's interesting, isn't it? You guys threaten me, you try to bribe me, you coerce me, you try to have me killed. So what's the legal ramifications of it? Because I haven't done anything because of your daughter. Because of the love I have for your daughter. So you need to ask yourself, at what point... Do I stop allowing you guys to abuse me? And I start holding you just as responsible as you're holding me. Do you think a judge will rule in your favor? That you are in the right for sending two women to your niece's house to threaten me where your daughter was? Because you don't have the balls to pick up the fucking phone? Because you got man enough to swallow your shit and talk to somebody you don't like? Or is it because you're so stuck up? Golden motherfucking spoon in your fucking rich white fucking mouth. Do you honestly think that what you did is okay? I think it's absolutely sick that you guys would think that it's okay to send somebody to somebody else's house to threaten them. And then you turn around and claim that I'm the crazy one. You come into your daughter's living room only to threaten me based off of accusations and to tell me that even if I prove myself innocent, it's not good enough for you guys. You'll still hate me. Trust me, I've dealt with a lot of hate. I know what it feels like to know that every breath I take is a fucking insult to you guys. I've felt that since, uh, well, since I had speculations at the beginning that you were the ones that sent those two over. And you know what? I've been right every step of the way. Everything you say and do I've been right. Everything that he does, I've been right. So. You guys want to stalk my shit? Well. Stalk it then. Because the more you do to me from now on, it's only going to be seen as a threat. 
It's only going to be seen with malice because that's all you guys have done. You've intentionally made somebody's life harder for your own gain, for your own enjoyment and own amusement. Because you're all too willing to sit here and, well, have somebody who's innocent killed. Because that's exactly what you tried to do. You sent two people to somebody's house with a weapon to deal with me. And your daughter is the only reason why there is not criminal charges on you. But with the way everything's going, I don't really care anymore. I'm done watching somebody ask and plead and beg just so that way you you all sit there and come up with new excuses, new reasons. Well, I'm done. I've given everything I can to the courts. I've done everything the courts have asked. What have you done? These videos I will not take down. Why? Because in the event that I'm murdered, it was probably Rob and I forgot his wife's name, Sam's, or somebody in their family because they've already attempted to try and have me killed once. And rather than being labeled as an abuser, I'm sitting here quiet because I'm scared of what will happen to their granddaughter or their daughter. I'm scared of what they'll do. So I don't get to hold people responsible. Especially when they try to have me killed. And everybody wants to laugh and, oh, well, that's just, that's just a leap. Two people came through a door with a baseball bat without any notice, communication, anything, intent on dragging me outside. And then you guys call me crazy. Good to know. You hired somebody to have me killed. To have me beaten to death with a baseball bat. That's my understanding. So maybe I do need to hold you responsible for what you've done so that way I could prove to the rest of the world my innocence. Which wouldn't really matter. Everybody's going to hate me anyways because you guys would go to prison. There would be an entire investigation as to why you guys would try and have me murdered. So, start thinking about that. Because having Audra and Terry sent over as commandos to try and have me murdered, all you would have done is got them killed. I want you to realize that. It is due to my training due to my experiences that Audra and Terry are not dead. That is not a threat. That is reality. In Washington State, it is 100% legal to defend my home by any means necessary. The place where I reside. It is in my. What? Uh, 
not just genetic code, but like morally, if somebody comes through a door where you're watching three small kids with a baseball bat and you don't know them, I'm morally obligated to defend those kids with my life. So, maybe one of my followers can actually comment. So that way it's not just me sitting here saying, you guys are fucking lucky. Had I been a gun-toting American, I would have shot first. I would have shot for the stomach. I'd hate for them to just die, you know. I ain't gonna shoot them in the arm or leg. I might miss. It also might go straight through and into a wall. But that's just crazy of me to think that, right? To know exactly where I would shoot if I had a gun to protect myself. That's absolutely absurd. That's psychotic from what somebody's little sister told me. You know what's not psychotic? Having your older sister, older sister's boyfriend murdered. Or at least knowing about it and being okay with it. So, and everybody can laugh about this. I don't care. It's all you guys have done anyways. I've had three people critically judge me on all of my TikToks to the extent of sending somebody to my house to have me killed. How great is that? 